there's no time for introductions. We need to get talking about flesh and blood. This bubble might be over by the time I'm done talking. Jokes aside, flesh and blood is pretty cool and hot. Well, not cool, but hot right now. So I figured we'd take some time to talk about where things are and what we're looking at. And maybe see some hard data because you can't find that. You can find box openings and you can find people playing the game. And you can find rules and all kinds of cool stuff. But like, what does it mean to be an individual player who wants to actually spend some money on some this hot newness or this, sorry, this new hotness, you know? What can you do and what what does the field look like? We've seen Pokemon go through the roof. We've seen magic go somewhere, depending on time of year and set and quality of set. But like, what does it look like? So, so we have Welcome to Wraith, which was the first box. We then have Arcane Rising, which was the purple second box. And then we got the third box, which is the yellow Crucible of War. Um, prices have been very interesting over the past year. Um, they don't reflect anything that's uh, normal. Prices for this first printing have just been through the roof. Um, we've seen all kinds of craziness with Welcome to Wraith and with the Archive boxes, which you can look at, you, which you can see nowadays as being like one to three thousand dollars just absolute insane but what kind of flew underneath the radar and why i went and look at it today was the crucible of war box the crucible of war box was until um you know recently within the past three months at a nice steady 150 dollars a box so let's take a quick small or let's take a small deep dive into what it actually looks like for the pricing so so if you as a new player just came in here and seen all these crazy prices, you see the newest release is $150 and you see the old release is both $3,000 as well as $80, well hopefully $80 a box. Um, the question could be like, I'm confused, why are we spending on this? I did a little bit of eBay deep diving and I found what was sold for? Um, I ignored a couple things just because there's always oddities. I did include cases. So we're looking at the price of Crucible of War for one box sold on eBay in the month of November. So we can see from this point of view that starting in early November, we have a nice $150 mark. It's been a stable price and uh, things didn't move very much. Then, you'll see, we start to see this kind of bump. Now, if you look at th uh, this first initial date, that is when um, Rudy from Alpha Investments did a small little video on Flesh of Blood. He likes to pop those in every now and then. If you don't know who Rudy is, he's a big mover and shaker in the Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Flesh of Blood world. Love him or hate him, you gotta admit, he gets things moving. So, um, he did a video on it, we see a little bump. So I call that the Rudy bump. Um, moved a little bit of things, prices fluctuated between 150 and 200. Then things settled out. Rest of the month, we just got a snooze fest all the way through December. So, December rolls around. Let's look at December over here. For the first two weeks of December, nothing happened. Literally nothing happened, nothing exciting. So $150 a box, smooth sailing. Looks like Crucible of War, eh, the hotness is okay. I think at this time, if we can look at deep dives of uh, Welcome to Wraith and Arcane Rising, they're already, they're going up. People um, are seeing that Flesh and Blood's moving, but they just weren't targeting uh, the Crucible of War. So, we see now, on the second week of December, that's when Rudy does video number two. We see another small little bump. But the big news happened in the 17th of December. December 17th, Legendary Studios, the makers of the game, and Rudy both announced that there'd be no more Crucible of War. There's only one printing, and the there's no, not going to be any unlimited printing. AKA what we have now with all these Welcome to Wraiths and Arcane boxes, which are still through the roof. Um, so... Why does that matter? So, technically, it was still a first printing. It doesn't matter. It's still going to get an unlimited printing in the future. I'm sure just how logistics and 
the world right now is going, we're going to see a return to crucible of war. But that those big news stories, hey, you see, oh, we're out of print. We're going to be at first printing Arcane Rising and Welcome to Wraith through the roof. Crucible of War is going to hit, hit the ceiling. And so as soon as that, those announcements occur, literally nothing happened for two days. Then, ladies and gentlemen, then we see the rocket ship igniting and blasting off like a Tesla rocket all the way to the Mars or whatever. Um, we see prices go from 150 to two times to three times to four times value all through the rest of December in a two and a half week time frame to very January right now, um, which is just nuts. So where does it go from here? We don't quite know. Things seem to be stable off a little bit. Things are high reaching highs. Um, I think we've seen these values kind of stabilize once either players or more likely investors or high rollers are putting their money into this. So we'll see. I think once an unlimited printing goes, it will do literally nothing to this. And this will be kind of the best indicator of what, is this a bubble? Is this a bull market, bear market? We're going to see all at once, kind of. Um, I think because Flesh and Blood's popularity, if it can stay that way through 2021, you're going to see these prices go up um, for all those hot, well, sorry, cold foils, you know, that are in all these first printing boxes. Man, those look cool and they're rare. And I think that's going to what's going to just keep it going until the sunset because uh, we might see a bigger jump, but who knows? So I just want to kind of show you these neat little graphs. We don't have a market watch news anything for this. So who knows? I know how you end one of these. So goodbye.